movie night. It's a night where we get to watch some Netflix, maybe Prime Video. They do have some good movies, but what are you going to sit on? That is the question I'm going to try and answer today. But I beg you, don't get shocked at the price because luxury, yeah, it has a price tag. <laughs> This, my friends, is the Valencia Tuscany in onyx color luxury theater seating from Valencia. So big thanks to those guys over there for sending these two seats for review. So welcome to an overview of this luxurious, I'm going to use that word a lot because Bar the price tag, this is a very luxurious seating experience. I have to admit, as soon as you sit down on them, you feel the plushiness and comfortableness of them. I don't even know if comfortableness is a word, but that's what it feels like. It feels lovely to just sit on. The cushions are very fluffy and the headrest, which is motorized, is very adjustable and comfortable too. There is lumbar support and of course there is memory. So. As you know, in most recliner leather seats, things move, the feet come up, and you can sit and enjoy your large TV experience at home. And the biggest feature of these seats, apart from the RGB, as you can see, is memory. So I can press one button and just relax, and it'll send me on my way to the memory setting that I decided fits me best and my wife's seat over here because there's only two of us using this apart from the dog and we'll talk about that in a second. This is my version, she'll have her own and the memory stays. If I want to go back to it, I hold the home button and of course, slowly but surely, it comes back. What's interesting about the motors, they're extremely smooth. You can hear them, but they're not particularly loud. The system they're using is an internationally recognized Leggard and Platts mechanized recliner system, meaning that you can actually put this right up against the wall. And as you move, this part and everything sort of slides forward a little bit, meaning there's no giant gap against the wall. One thing to add, this obviously comes in multiple sizes in the sense that you can keep adding to the left over here, my left or your right, and you can add as many as you want depending on your theater setup. Now, let's talk about the leather. There's two points I wanna share with you. One, of course, it's Napa Top Grain 20,000 and it feels really lovely. This one in here is matte, so it doesn't have that leather shine and it's very smooth. So when you touch it, it feels really, really nice. The stitching is really good too. I'm actually really impressed. I haven't found any parts where I would say, oh, that's really odd stitching. They seem to have taken a lot of care on it. The sides and the middle of the seat has the French diamond stitching, which makes it really fluffy feeling when you sit down and of course, it looks really, really stylish. Now, I don't know what test I could do to see if this is real leather, but it feels really thick when you grab some of the edges. And one thing I've noticed, which is the test, the ultimate test, is when my dog with very sharp claws jumped up, and I definitely shooed her off very quickly, she didn't scratch nor scar the leather. And it happened multiple times. So now we have blocked her from coming into this area to jump on these couches because I really like them and I'd like to keep them clean. Speaking of clean, they do grab a little bit of dust. Obviously they're dark and they're matte and as dust falls around, you can see it fall on there. So a nice wet cloth just over the top will clean it really nicely. Of course, you can get proper leather cleaning sprays to help with that. Now, aside from the full grain Italian Napa leather, which is really why the price is the price, and I'll get to that in a moment. I don't want to shock you. I don't want you to click off this video just yet. Let's talk about the features because there's some techie features which I think some of you will be really impressed. In the control panel on the right hand side, it has some nice clicky buttons. You can individually control every single section of the seat, but it does also come with a USB charger. Not only that, it comes with a USB-C charger too. Speaking of power, each seat has its own power plug, which means that if you're going to have like, let's say five or four of them, you're going to have to have a power board to split that power across. They don't use much power, but the whole point is that each of them has to have their own power plug. This arrived in less than a week, 
very, very quickly. I was really impressed. The links below are to an Australian website and of course they came with Australian plugs. Now, as you can see, there is LEDs built into the cup holders, which are metal and really nice. They pop out just in case you get a bit of dust and debris in there from all the biscuits and things you'll be eating in front of your screen. Popcorn, of course. You can clean them out, put them in the dishwasher if it gets really bad, but the LED looks nice. I would say it's ambient lighting. If you're watching something like Dune where it's really, really dark sometimes and then really bright all of a sudden, I don't think there's really any need for this to be on. But if it's the evening and you're settling down to watch a movie and you're getting that popcorn ready, it is really, really nice to see those colors. You get eight different colors and you use the little settings over here to adjust them. And you can also save them in memory so that when you click a certain button, they pop out. Now, speaking of the cup holder, in this little section here is something that my son likes playing with, but it's this weird little button that you press. Now, it doesn't do anything because it is a clip for other accessories. You can have a wine holder, of course. You can have a little table that pops up here and that's accessories you buy on top. They're not cheap either. And of course, an iPad holder, just in case you're watching a blockbuster movie and it's just that moment where you're like, you know what, I wanna check what's happening on Facebook. Now, moving a little bit to the side, we have storage and this is my favorite part. You can pop this armrest up and you have a lot of room. You can fit quite a lot here. Now, what has been going in here at the moment? My son's toys, but I've also been hiding things like the remote so it doesn't get lost and the dog doesn't chew it. Each section that has one of these rests has a storage right here. It's really easy to pop open and of course to close. Now, of course, the other big important thing is, is this a stable seating environment? It really is. It's very heavy. And when you do sit on it, yeah, you can feel the solid build quality. I had a look underneath. It seems to be obviously got a lot of wood, but all the framing is metal. The mechanized system is metal, meaning that as I was moving this around, it felt like a solid item. Now to note, the way this comes to your home is actually really cool because it does come in with this backrest removed that you put in and plug in all the plugs, meaning that it comes in a single box. So it's easy to get into the home unpack and put together. So price, 5,799 Australian dollars for these two right here, free delivery. Yes, it's a shocking price, but if you're in the market for leather reclined motorized seats that are real leather, Napa 20,000 Italian stitched, then you'll know that that is actually not a bad price. Comparably, there is a lot more expensive seatings than this. Given that this is being sent from Australia, arrives in less than a week, and the warranty is also quite lengthy, I would say it's pretty well priced for the market. Now, personally, I used to have a full leather couch that cost two and a half thousand dollars. I did buy it secondhand for four hundred dollars. I like this one better because it is a little bit smaller. It has storage than the previous leather couch. And the quality of this leather just feels so much more premium. Obviously, the biggest thing is the comfortable seating position and that memory. One button press to go up and move and your lumbar and your headrest will adjust to the position that you like. Perfection. Now, that's a personal experience. So, can I recommend these couches? Absolutely. After having experienced them, honestly, I cannot go back to just a basic couch. This is the way you want to experience a theater room. So friends, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Big thanks to Valencia for sending me this Tuscany in Onyx for review. Now, obviously it's not for everybody. It is very specific to a theater room, but if you do have a lounge room and you do want to have something like this, the entire outside of this couch looks really fancy and there's no real reason to hide it in the first place, like near a wall. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you all in another one. Bye.